cancer spreads to the lymph nodes signs and symptoms some forms of cancer can spread to other areas of the body as they grow cancer can spread to the lymph nodes via a person's lymphatic system the spread of cancer to a new part of the body is called metastasis Cancer cells can travel to other areas of a person's body through their lymphatic system. Watch on to learn more about what the spread of cancer to the lymph nodes means and the treatment available. What happens when cancer spreads to the lymph nodes? A person's lymphatic system is part of their immune system. The lymphatic system is a series of connected nodes and vessels. Lymph vessels transport a substance called lymph fluid around around a person's body. Lymph fluid contains white blood cells which help a person to fight infections. Lymph nodes are small structures that filter foreign substances such as cancer cells or infections from the lymph fluid. Lymph nodes also contain white blood cells that attack invading organisms in the lymph fluid. When cancer cells appear in a person's lymph nodes, it means cells have broken away from the original tumor and traveled via the lymph vessels to a lymph node. The presence of cancer cells inside a lymph node indicates that the cancer is spreading. Cancer cells that survive inside the lymph node may then travel to other parts of the body. When does cancer spread to the lymph nodes? The rate that cancer spreads to a person's lymph nodes may depend on the cancer they have. Some cancers can spread more quickly to the lymph nodes. Other cancers are slow to develop and may spread at a slower rate. Certain cancers may only spread to lymph nodes on rare occasions. Research indicates that osteosarcomas, a form of bone cancer, only spread to the lymph nodes in 4 to 11 percent of cases. Cancer can affect people in different ways, so it can be hard to predict how it may spread. When a doctor discusses a person's cancer with them, they may refer to the stage. Stage it is at. Different stages of cancer indicate how far it has spread for its original location. The National Cancer Institute states that the stages of cancer are stage G0. Stage 0 cancer also called carcinoma in C2 or CIS is when abnormal cells are present but have not spread. Stage 1, 2 and 3. Stages 1 to 3 indicate that there is cancer present. The higher the stage, the larger and more spread out the cancer is. Stage 4 Stage 4 cancer is when the cancer has spread to areas that are distinct from the original tumor. Healthcare professionals also break stage 3 into multiple categories, including 3A, B and C. The stage at which cancer has spread to the lymph nodes varies. According to the United Kingdom's National Health Service, the cancer may have spread to the lymph nodes at stage 3. The staging may also differ depending on the type of cancer. Healthcare professionals may categorize leukemias and lymphomas differently. Another way of grading how far a person's cancer has developed is the TNM staging system. In the TNM system, each letter refers to a different feature 
of the cancer. The T refers to the size of the original tumor. The N refers to the amount of nearby lymph nodes that have cancer cells. The M refers to whether the cancer has metastasized or not. When a doctor uses the TNM system, they will place a number after each letter. This number provides information about a person's cancer. Here at the screen you can see the table. If a person has cancer cells in their lymph nodes, it may indicate that the cancer is spreading. A person may need to undergo testing to see if their cancer has spread. Outlook for cancer that has spread to lymph nodes can depend on the type of a type of cancer a person has. For example, the American Cancer Society defines the five year survival rate as follows once the cancer has originally ad originally advanced including spread to the to the nearby lymph nodes 86 percent for breast cancer 35 percent for non-small cell lung cancer 16 percent for small cell lung cancer 66 percent for melanoma a relative survival rate helps give an idea of how long a person with a particular condition will live after receiving a diagnosis compared with those without the condition. For example, if the five-year relative survival rate is 70%, it means that a person with the condition is 70% as likely to live for five years as someone without the condition. Research from 2016 notes that Five-year survival rates of colorectal cancer are between 70 to 80 percent. However, if the cancer spreads to the lymph nodes, this rate drops to 30 to 60 percent. The survival rate refers to the proportion of people who are still alive for a length of time after receiving a particular diagnosis. For example, a five-year survival rate of 50 percent means that 50% or half of the people are still alive five years after receiving the diagnosis. It is, imp it is important to remember that these figures are estimates and are based on the results of previous studies or treatments. A person can consult a healthcare professional about how their condition is going to affect them. Discovering and treating cancer early can increase a person's chance of survival. Receiving treatment quickly can mean a person's cancer does not have a chance to spread. Treatment There are various treatments a person can have to treat cancer that has spread to lymph nodes. One option is surgery to remove the person's primary cancer and affected lymph nodes. However, lymph node involvement can mean a person's cancer is more likely to return after surgery. Additional treatments for cancer that has spread to lymph nodes includes chemotherapy, which uses drugs to kill cancer cells, immunotherapy, which boost a person's immune system to fight cancer cells targeted therapy which uses drugs to identify and attack certain cancer cells radiation therapy which uses high energy particles or waves to destroy cancer cells signs and symptoms that cancer has spread to the lymph nodes a person's lymph nodes are generally small and difficult to find. However, when a person's cancer spreads to the lymph nodes, they can become large and swollen. The spread of cancer cells to a person's lymph nodes may not always show symptoms. If there is a small amount of cancer cells in a person's lymph nodes, they may not appear swollen. Additionally, 
a person may not notice swollen lymph nodes that are deep inside their body. A person may develop symptoms if their cancer spreads from their lymph nodes to other parts of their body. Symptoms of metastatic, metastatic cancer can include loss of energy, unexpected weight loss, pain, shortness of breath, trouble breathing. What happens when the lymph nodes are removed? A surgeon may make the decision to remove the lymph nodes if they contain cancer cells. However, the removal of lymph nodes can cause other issues. The American Cancer Society notes that once the lymph nodes are removed, the lymph fluid in that area can no longer drain away. This can cause a buildup of lymph fluid in the lymph vessels called lymphedema. Lymphedemas can cause swelling and pain in the affected area and can become lifelong problems. When to contact a doctor? If a person notices any signs of cancer having spread to their lymph nodes, they should speak with the doctor immediately. Additionally, if a person with cancer notices any unusual new symptoms, they should contact a doctor. The sooner a person receives treatment for cancer that has spread, the better their chances of survival.